Okay, guys, if we are asked to solve a practice question on the topic percentage composition, how do we do that? Now, this must be noted. It must be noted that the symbol percent in this aspect simply means percentage composition. And to solve practice question under this aspect, a formula must be applied, which is percentage composition, which is given with the symbol percent, is equal to atomic mass of element times number of atoms of that particular element present in that compound over molar mass of compound times 100. It is so much very easy. So with all this said, let us read out this practice question. And the question says, calculate the percentage composition of all the elements in H2SO4. But before we go ahead to solve this practice question, to solve for the percentage composition of each element in this compound, we have to basically solve for the molar mass of the compound. And the compound is simply H2SO4. Remember, to calculate molar mass is so much very easy. And for we to do that, we simply write out the atomic masses of the element and add them. Okay, so for hydrogen, what's the atomic mass? One. So we have two atoms of hydrogen. That's why it's two times two, rather. Plus, for sulfur, what's the atomic mass? It is 32. Plus oxygen, what's the atomic mass? It is 16. And we have how many atoms? We have four atoms. So 16 times four. So here it becomes two plus 32 plus 64. So the molar mass of the compound, when we add all those values, we have 98 grams per mole. So 98 grams per mole is the molar mass of the compound. Whereby, let us go ahead to solve for the percentage composition of each element in the compound. But before we do that, let's fill in the table because this table is going to help us do that. Now, what are the atomic masses of the element? Because this element, let's identify, we have three elements present in this compound, which are H, S, and O. Hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, whereby the atomic mass is already given. For hydrogen, the atomic mass is 1. For sulfur, the atomic mass is 32. And for oxygen, the atomic mass is 16. Now, moving further, how do we get the number of atoms present in the compound? So much very easy. Now, for we to do that, we have to look at the way the element was configured in the compound. For hydrogen, how many atoms of hydrogen can, can I see in the question? It is two. Because you can see that it is basically H2. So here it becomes two atoms of hydrogen. Whereby for sulfur, how many atoms of sulfur do we have in, the, in this particular compound? It is just one sulfur. So we have just one atom of sulfur. Whereby for oxygen, how many atoms of oxygen do we have in this particular compound it is four oh four so here become four atoms of what oxygen so with all this said let's go ahead to solve for the percentage composition of all the elements present in this compound so for hydrogen first so percentage composition of hydrogen is equal to we use our formula so what's the first part of the formula was it atomic mass of the element what's the atomic mass of hydrogen it is one times what's the number of atoms of hydrogen present in the compound it is two so one times two over what's the molar mass of the compound it is 98 grams per mole times 100 is equal to now let us quickly solve for all of them before we add before we impute all this into the calculator so percentage composition of sulfur is equal to what is the atomic mass of sulfur the atomic mass of sulfur is given to be 32 times what is the number of atoms of sulfur? It is one. One atom over 98, that's the molar mass of the compound, times 100 is equal to. And lastly, how do we get for oxygen? Percentage composition of oxygen will not be equal to what's the atomic mass of oxygen? It is 16 times what is the number of atoms of oxygen? It is four. 
okay, over what is the molar mass of the compound? It is 98 grams per mole times 100. So, percentage composition of oxygen is equal to. So, with all this said, let's impute all these and get the values for the percentage composition of all the elements in the compound. Okay, guys, you can see all the values for the percentage composition of all the elements present in the compound. For hydrogen, it is 2.04%. For sulfur, it is 32.65%, and for oxygen, it is 65.31%. Now, this must be noted. It must be noted that all this percentage, as we've gotten them, must amount to 100%. When we press it in the calculator, it must give us 100%. If it's not 100%, we'll get a value like 99.9%, which is still approximately 100%. So you can see how solving practice questions on percentage composition works so very easy without stress. So with all this explanation, you have to solve this for me and provide the answer in the comment section below. Meanwhile, you basically solve for the percentage composition of the all the elements present in Na2CO3, whereby the elements are sodium, carbon, and oxygen. And sodium atomic mass is 23, carbon atomic mass is 12, and oxygen atomic mass is 16. So you have to solve these and provide the answer in the comment section below. Meanwhile, if you find this video helpful, do well to click the follow button. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, you do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share with your friends. Thanks for watching.